Hey, what's going on, old fashioned ice cream of Blonde Boot Camp? This is Mike Snead coming to you. I want to thank everybody who uh, this uh, I'm telling you right now, this is this is gonna be a quick one. Uh we had the ice cream follow boot camp um uh, earlier today, and um I'm just here to kind of straighten up. I just been straightened up on um uh, getting everything ready for tomorrow. Uh today was a great day. Uh we had uh, a classroom field. We had about uh, 15 people, I think, maybe 15 people that I had that came through the actual um, uh, ice cream parlor boot camp. And uh, we had a great time. Uh, uh, today we went over ice cream, went over kettle corn, showed them how to make the ice cream, showed them how to uh, roll waffle cones, waffle bowls. Uh, Went over uh, everything they need to actually pass uh, inspection in a brick and mortar, uh, actual push a, a, a push cart, a pop up tent, uh, the mobile trailer. They, uh, we got to see where I actually uh, buy the equipment and stuff from. They got to see all of that, see how the equipment comes together, uh, come apart. Um, got to see everything we do with ice cream. Not only that, uh, we actually closed today, but uh, uh, we had customers that are actually coming in. So they got to see the interaction with the customers and uh, got to serve customers. So it, it was good. They actually uh, got real life experience uh, with this ice cream parlor. Uh, tomorrow we'll be out at the shipping container. Uh, so we're going to meet here tomorrow and we're going to take a trip out to Rocky Mount um, to the actual shipping container. Uh, we'll be out there and from there we're going to uh, show them everything they need to actually uh, pass inspection for a shipping container. How you actually, uh, they're gonna see the property, uh, showing them how to actually find property. I'm gonna let them see both parts. I'm gonna let them see uh, where uh, the neighborhood currently is, uh, where it's going. And then from there, uh, we're gonna spin it around and we're gonna go look at a part in Rocky Mount that's already, uh, already been developed, that's already, uh, uh, at the place we want to be at, we're going to take a look at that place to show uh, where the neighborhood is going and what can be. Uh, they are out today uh, at Selma. Uh, people come to Selma now. They think uh, that Selma has always been the way it is. Uh, no, uh, we put a lot of work. The business owners in the town, um, the residents have put a lot of work to get Selma to where, where we currently are at. Uh, so once again, I want to thank everybody by actually uh, coming out, um, it was a great time. Uh, one of the kids, one of the things everybody said, uh, um, we don't charge enough for this information. Uh, that's what everybody said. I asked them what did they think about uh, the the class, and their thing was you don't charge enough. Uh, the stuff that you're giving and that you're actually showing us, uh, you don't charge enough for it. But we've had so many people. Who actually came through the appliance boot camp? I'm gonna talk about that. And the, the, who have came through the ice cream parlor that actually uh, making money at the ice cream parlor. Uh, so uh, that's what people said. Uh, what you charge for the class is not enough money. Uh, you need to charge more than what you actually are charged. You're giving too much. Um, even some of the alumni uh, said they, they felt guilty about taking being able to be uh, grandfathered in. <laughs> They're like, nah, they, they need to buy it. And I was like, nah, uh, uh, I, I want them to be able to, I want it to be the way it is. Because what happened today, we have one, two, three, four, four, five. We have five alumni uh, here that actually had taken the Flans Boot Camp. Um, who had making who had made the money made the money through appliance repair um and they were back uh, uh putting their family into the ice cream parlor business um and I, I, that's the stuff that i wanted to, I, I, that i envisioned to see and that's what uh the, kind of the question people ask you know hey uh this appliance boot camp you, you talking a lot about ice cream and a lot all this other stuff going on uh you need to talk more about the appliances uh, appliance, appliances, uh, appliance repair is how I make my money, and I'm so grateful for the industry and for the career field of appliance repair. If it wasn't for appliance repair, 
none of this stuff would be possible. But uh, uh, we got to look at the bigger picture. The, the, uh, if you're somebody who's going to build out your appliance repair business where you have technicians working for you and you have a huge company, um, and that's going to be your retirement, uh, I say, you know, you need to get into uh, into the Ashley's or uh, get into USA, PSA, and actually uh, get mentors of people who have done that, who have built out uh, huge uh, appliance repair businesses and use that to retire. Uh, you need to do that. Uh, otherwise, if you're somebody who's just a one man shop or a two man shop, and if you were to uh, get ready to retire, you got to have a way to keep your money coming in. Same thing. If you went out and you done, uh, you done acquired a lot of money over the years um, through appliance repair, um, you got to uh, you got to be able to have a way to keep that money and, and keep a hedge against inflation. But that's what this part right here is that you were seeing me do, uh, where I'm actually transitioning out of appliance repair into retirement. And a lot of you all, if you if you keep living, as they say, as, as, as my grandmother and them used to tell me, you keep living, you're going to be here too. Uh, when you get to the point, and when you get into your 50s and, and stuff, where your body is just not able to do the stuff I could do in my 20s, 30s, and even my 40s. At 50, I got to go somewhere and do something a little bit simpler, a little bit less demanding on my body. Appliance repair is not, not really strenuous. Uh, you could, could do it later on in your years. But uh, I needed something also uh, that I could actually that allowed me to give more uh, direct uh, interaction with my son and, 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 and be able to get him straight. So uh, this is what the ice cream does. Um, from once I got into the ice cream, I saw the potential into it. And that's why I started telling you all. Uh, now there's something totally different that you all are doing. Uh, you all are young people. Y'all are younger than I am. And you all are looking at this right here. Um, it's not so much as your retirement, but addition to um, you got husband and wives coming here and the husband and wives are saying, hey, we, we're doing this and we're putting this thing together for uh, for our family and uh, and our younger kids where uh, they're, they're uh, able to do it through appliance repair. The husband is doing appliances. Got a little extra money. You can go. Same thing. We had uh, a mother and a uh, son um, here. He was here with his wife. Um, uh, shout out uh, to them. I don't want to say people's names on the YouTube without their permission, but shout out to him. Um, he was there, here with his wife. And he was here with his um, uh, his mother. And he runs his appliance repair business full time. And uh, they uh, uh, asked him what was going on, what, what they doing this for. And uh, he said uh, his mom had just retired. And his mom was uh, looking for something to do, and and she was gonna go get another job. <laughs> she was gonna go get a job, and he told her, "No, nah, we don't do that here. <laughs> no, nah, you ain't gonna get no job. You're gonna go down here, and you're gonna if you're gonna pick one of these things you want to do. You know, want to do kettle corn or ice cream, and we're gonna get it going." And so uh, he brought his mom and his wife, and and uh, and uh, and his mom actually inspired to go when she left. She said. She's ready to do this. She's, she's uh, uh, excited about it. So uh, that's why we uh, we talk about the uh, ice cream here. Uh, because um, I want you all don't get so caught up into uh, trying to uh, be the, the, the best technician in the world, be a super technician, and then don't get uh, don't create any generational wealth. Uh, for so many years, uh, people have been caught up uh, who make all this money. Uh, 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 say, for instance, uh, uh, basketball players, they get so caught up on and trying to get a championship ring. They don't think nothing. They don't, they don't put any effort into uh, taking all that money that they're getting um, during their playing years and, uh, and actually um, investing it, figuring out how they can change the generations behind it. Uh, so uh, I don't want you all to be so caught up in that. I want you all to see the biggest, uh, the bigger picture uh, that. Uh, <laughs> I want y'all to see the uh, see the bigger picture that we're doing. The bigger picture is uh, people walking by and they see me doing my live and they they waving. I want you all to see the bigger picture that we have. The bigger picture that we're doing. Uh, we want you all to actually uh, start being able to buy this property, to be able to change your neighborhoods, 
to be able to uh, 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 create that generational wealth. Uh, because we need you all here. Um, the people can't contest. Uh, we're in here today uh, doing, a, a, uh, doing an ice cream boot camp. And uh, uh, pretty much the whole neighborhood of kids pop up here. Uh, they asked me, uh, Mr. Sneed, can we use your restroom? Come on in. And, and this is the middle of the day. I know school is not out. And I'm asking them, why are you not in school? Well, uh, school out today. No, I know you're not. All of them told me we didn't want to go to school today. Uh, school boring, and they're not going to school. And um, and here I, I, uh, I, they want a job, so my thing is telling them, hey, um, uh, I, I had to get all their names and numbers and stuff. Uh, this is boys and girls. Uh, get the names and numbers, and I'm gonna go uh, reach out to the teacher uh, at uh, at their school. And I told them from now to the end, the uh, end of the school year, they got to go to school every day if they want to work. Um, and I'm going to bring them in and teach them uh, uh, how to actually. I, I was telling them they're, they're a little too raw for me to put them in, out here in the ice cream parlor right now because uh, they, they, they're really raw. But um, I'm going to show them how we can actually take the uh, ice cream cart to go make money and teach them how to uh, make some money. But because I'm here, uh, uh, during the day and I'm running a business, uh, I can actually do that. I can actually talk to the kids and put real money and real jobs in their hands and give them actual the actual influence and stuff they need. And we need more of you all to be able to do that. Um, we're going to read some of this stuff we got in the chat. Then I'm getting out of here. Uh, I was up here early. I got to be up here early again tomorrow. Uh, Stoker Review said, what's, let's go, Mike. All right, what's up, Stoker? Uh, Frank Evans said, what's up, Mike? All right. Derek Bryant said, so "What's up, Mike?" Derek, uh, Mike, what electrical license do you uh, do you hold? I just passed my Chicago supervisor electrician exam. It's equivalent to the NEC master's electrician license. Um, I hold uh, depend on what state. Uh, here in North Carolina, we call it unlimited. Uh, a lot of them call it unlimited license, uh, where you actually uh, 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 I'm an unlimited contract where I can uh, I can do. Uh, anything in North Carolina, uh, regardless of the voltage and the actual contract size. And uh, across other states, I'm going to hold an unlimited license, too. Uh, so I have an unlimited electrical license and probably, uh, I don't know, I had to count, there's probably seven, eight, maybe nine states or more uh, that I, I've had, I have an electrical license right now. I have some, I have more than that, but I, uh, I got them um, not... Uh, not inspired, but I just have them on hold because nobody, I'm not using them and nobody else is using them. Uh, Patrick, Patrick Young said, what's good, Mike? Mike, what's good, ABC fam? All right. DC Nell Appliance Repair said, what's up, Mike and ABC fam? Hey, what's going on? Derek Bryant said, cool. Yeah, that's good, Derek. Congratulations on passing that test, man. Uh, that's good stuff. Uh, that's good stuff. Uh, he said he also has and ICC Masters also. Okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, what's up, Mike? Uh, what's up, ABC family, Mike? Mike, that's great. You're going to uh, going to pour into those kids that came by. Hopefully, they will take you up on your offer. <laughs> yeah, the ones that was here, they they saw it. Uh, they saw uh, they saw the kids. So I got their numbers and stuff. Uh, but I, I've seen them. I see them around uh, quite a bit. Uh, uh, I, I see them around quite quite a bit. So uh, with that, uh, I, I catch them, and I know they're a teacher uh, and the principals and all that stuff. So uh, I'm going to reach out to them and, and see what we can do. Uh, Slick, hey Slick, I got your uh, I got your uh, text. Uh, Slick, <laughs> Slick, uh, uh, I've got the text right now. I just do my uh, I just do my nephew's uh, uh, seal system, and as soon as I get up out of this, uh, uh, get get up uh, as soon as I get this ice cream container. Uh, from having me in the headlock, uh, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm gonna stop that too. Uh, but, uh, uh, but uh, thanks, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, I, I was telling people earlier, this uh, ice cream shipping container, it does, it does. Uh, uh, it right now is really, it's really trying me to see if old Mike Sneed really want to do it. Uh, but I, I'm, I'm at the end, end road now. Uh, we'll be out tomorrow. Uh, they've done the concrete today. Uh, 
Uh, uh, they done the concrete earlier today, and from there, uh, they should be about ready for. Uh, uh, should be about ready. I'm just waiting on my doors and windows, and uh, so everything will be finished besides the doors and the windows. And from there, uh, I will. Um, uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna pay. I'm gonna pay the end of the month uh, to get the water and sewer turned on. Uh, I go ahead and get the electrical turned on now. The water and sewer will be turned on at the end of the month. All right, let's begin. Passing on, Mike. I was talking to the guy man again about shaved ice. He says it takes off really fast, um, and the profits are tremendous. He says it only costs about fifty cents per cup. So yeah, to make yeah for shaved ice, all it is is water and. <laughs> And uh, all it is is just water and uh, and some uh, and some snow cone syrup. It's just syrup poured on it. Yeah, it's uh, it's really uh, it really is cheap. Um, I was at an event this past weekend, and it was a sunset slushy guy uh, right beside me, and uh, and and he 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 was, he was doing well too. Both of us done really well, but he he was doing it. Him and I both was was really kicking it. Um, you know, his profit margin uh, is uh. Is a little bit more, but he sell he was a little bit cheaper. You no, know, he had the three dollar cup. The cheapest thing I had was five dollar cups. Um, so, um, but it, it goes. And I had my Joko ice out there. Um, some people asked me about that. I doesn't compete. I was like, uh, when I was out there, uh, everybody knows Sunset uh, Sunset Flush, a uh, Sunset Ice. They know that they have like the uh, Italian ices, and they know that they know I have ice cream. Um, so he couldn't compete with me on ice cream. Uh, I couldn't compete with him um, selling wise on the uh, Italian ice, but that's what he's known for. And we uh, we both uh, uh, we both there made a, a nice little grip of money. Uh, and I, I found that out this weekend. Uh, do what you great at. I have the Joko ice here uh, for uh, for people to buy. Uh, taste wise, yeah, we can compete and probably I think. It, I personally think our uh, uh, Joko ice tastes better than regular Italian ice, um, the way we, because uh, uh, they have real fruits and stuff. Excuse me, but uh, as far as getting out there selling it, especially if your name is ice cream in it, uh, they not uh, uh, they they gonna be looking for you for ice cream. Uh, their ices, they they're gonna be looking for them for ice. Cream. And uh, I, even though I was on the uh, microphone uh, telling people we had uh, flavors of Joko ice. It still, it still didn't, uh, it still didn't compete to what he was selling over there, and he couldn't compete with what I was doing with the ice. Hey, what's up? What's up, Bobby? Bobby, glad you, uh, glad to see you in the class today. Bobby said, "Great class today, Mike. Thanks for all you do for us. Thanks, man. I really appreciate it." Lisa Chanel, uh, we had a commercial COD turn into a warranty repair, and their rates were amazing. Four point five hours to change a condenser fan. <laughs> yep, good stuff. All because I called a company and they had two weeks left on their warranty and didn't know. Okay, good stuff. Uh, they sent in the part and everything. Oh, wow, okay. Good, good stuff. Yep, good stuff. Um, so I want to thank everybody for watching. Um, I'm going to probably go live tomorrow. I am going to go live tomorrow at the actual uh, shipping container. We'll be out there tomorrow uh, uh, from about from about maybe uh, 11 to maybe about, uh, we've been rocking out from 11 until about one. I might go live a couple of times. I go live at the shipping container. Then I go live uh, right there at the, uh, to, uh, at the uh, cot mill stuff. Uh, so I I'll be out there. And uh, and I want you, uh, you all can be I'm gonna read a couple more of these, then I'm out of here. Patrick Young, Mike, he says he paid $40 for two machines and a table. He says he had made his money back the first day. He says he was making two two thousand, three thousand weekly, including catering. Yeah, yeah, you can. Uh, uh, yeah, you can. Yeah, you, you 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 definitely can do it. Uh, you know, uh, that getting into that uh, where he, where you talk about shaved ice, where you get an ice block and you have a little machine that spins it around and it's uh, it shaves the ice. Then you just pour syrup on. It. Yeah, you can. You can. Um, I, I can tell y'all, there's money to be made in here. There's money to be made here. Um, started this week, um, we got events uh, just about every, every we got one or two during the week, <laughs> and we got one every weekend all the way up until about June, July right now. Um, and people are uh, steady calling. 
people are getting mad now. You know, I, I had uh, I had uh, people call the uh, the other day uh, where people get uh, get mad when I tell them um, I already got something planned that weekend. You know, so I, I can't go, and they actually get mad. Uh, West Peak uh, the third. Uh, do you make your own ice cream recipe? Yes, we do. We make our own ice cream, um, our own recipe. Uh, they're simple ice creams. Uh, the people who are the class that's here today, uh, we've done an adult ice cream. We've done a brown roll peach. Um, and we've done a, a pistachio ice cream. And those are my own personal recipes that I made. And uh, they tasted them. Everybody thought they were good. Um, and they tasted uh, all the ice cream here. So, uh, yeah, it, 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 it turned out really, really good. Um, you know, so, and so shout out to, we had, uh, um, uh, one of my wholesale customers, they own a bakery and they were here with me and, uh, and, uh, and a shout out to them. They always, uh, uh, I make ice cream from them and they'll tell me how they, they'll give me input for, I, I make specific flavors only for their bakery and they give me input on what they want to have done at their bakeries and stuff like that. And with that. Uh, they, 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 they don't shy away from telling me when stuff is, uh, they, when they don't like something. And, uh, and, um, uh, they gave me some compliments on, on some of the, uh, some of the ice cream and stuff that was here. This was the first time they actually came to the actual, uh, facility. And it was the first time they tasted a, a, a large uh, array of what we had. So, uh, I, I felt good about that. And, uh, if it won't write, trust me, they would tell me it won't write. So I, I value their uh, opinion that they always are honest with me. There's several people uh, I know is going to tell me the exact truth for how they feel, uh, regardless, and, and they are one, and I, I, I value them for that. Uh, once again, I want to thank everybody uh, for watching. Uh, I'm getting up out of here. I'll be back live tomorrow. Um, if you hadn't already, uh, uh, I ain't going to tell you that. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you that. Uh, they go sign up for the course and stuff like that. Uh, follow the journey. Um, uh, this with this journey that I'm getting ready to go on now with uh, building the one out in Rocky Mount and whatnot. Uh, follow us and uh, and see how we go. Uh, it, it's going to be fun. I would like for you all to be able to do the same thing that I do and get out here and create businesses and create opportunities and create generational wealth for you and your family. But if it's something that don't want to do, but you enjoy seeing the journey, continue watching. Um, we're going to have online courses. We'll keep the online courses. But uh, I think I think today was the uh, was pretty much the last uh, hands-on live for ice cream. Uh, I think it was the last hands-on live for ice cream. Uh, strictly, because, uh, uh, strictly because I got to put a lot more emphasis on getting my businesses <laughs> Where they need to be at, uh, and and uh, and worrying about uh, the next generation, the people coming behind me with this ice cream. So I got to put a lot more attention here. I put a lot of money and a lot of time into uh, into this uh, uh, into this business venture in the last uh, last year or two, and um, I got to be really serious and really mindful of the, of my investment. To get my money back, I'm fifty. I'm fifty. Uh, I'm fifty one. Be fifty two this year. Uh, so I gotta be here and, and really, really mind my investment. I don't have time anymore to actually uh to actually be uh uh on YouTube uh uh, uh on YouTube just uh just the uh, uh YouTube popularity. So uh, you're going to see things kind of change a little bit uh, where it's going to be a lot more geared towards me actually uh, running the business and more of a marketing for my actual um, ice cream followers and other businesses and stuff I do. Uh, marketing, not so much for me to actually uh, uh, teach you uh, how to start one and tell you to come take a class. Uh, it's going to be more marketing. Come on down here and buy some of this ice cream, buy some of this kettle corn. Uh, the stuff that we're putting out, so we're gonna have um, have more of that going. On. So uh, I keep saying I'm out of here, but uh, uh, <laughs> y'all got some good stuff. I'm saying, uh, back to young Mike. Now he has two store locations, a drive-through location and a food truck. 
he uh he cruise he's on cruise control at four hundred to five thousand uh, dollars. I believe it. Uh, I definitely believe it. I uh, definitely believe it. Uh, I know I know someone um out here that does it. Um, and they they they're hitting hitting those numbers. I know somebody who does it. Uh, with uh with um uh with Italian ice and they hit those numbers. I know people who do it with ice cream. They they hit those numbers. Uh, I haven't gotten there yet. Um. Um, because I'm looking at it a little different as far as me with ice cream. Um, I'm looking more so of building and buying uh, property. Uh, they're looking at they don't they don't own that property, but they're going to uh, they're going to places uh, where they have the high volume and the demographics there where they can't make those money. But it costs them uh, a lot more than rent and stuff too. Uh, but me, I'm actually um, buying my properties and buying land and stuff as I go. Uh, Terry the electrician said, "What's up, Mike and ABC fan? Hey, what's up, Terry? Uh, West Pete the third. Uh, what's the ROI on the ice cream ball? Uh, ROI on the ice cream ball. Uh, we were talking about that earlier today. Uh, uh, to make uh, for me to make, uh, just say uh, uh, some vanilla ice cream. Uh, uh, three gallons of vanilla ice cream ice cream cost me uh, less than twenty five dollars to make three gallons." Of it. Uh, from that, I can make somewhere between two hundred to two hundred and forty dollars off of those three gallons. So that's that's the uh, ROI that you can get off of that. Uh, Nick, can you make the Italian ice the same way you make the ice cream? Uh, no, uh, Italian ice is just going to be water, uh, sugar, and whatever flavoring you put in. Uh, some people put real fruit, but most people don't put fruit. They're just going to put the uh, put the flavoring. I say flavoring. They're gonna use something like a Tarani syrup, or they're gonna use a snow cone syrup, or whatever. Uh, I rice, they'll use those syrups to put in there to actually give it the flavor. Um, ice cream, you're gonna actually use milk. Um, ice cream, you're gonna use milk uh, and your flavorings that you're gonna use for that. Uh, Italian ice, you can actually, uh, that has to be served at about, uh, scooped at about 20 some degrees. Ice cream, you gotta be scooping that at about zero. Stoker reviews. When are you painting the container? Uh, right now it's white. Uh, so uh, sometime by the end of this month, uh, sometime in May, um, I'm not gonna. Um, I'm gonna keep the actual shipping container white. I'm still playing around with some of the designs. I think I'm gonna kind of let it match up with my truck and put the banner on top, so I can see how it goes this season. If we go through this season, and um, and uh, and we don't get any uh, somebody vandalizes it or anything. We might put some uh, paint on the sides, uh, but I, I, I don't want to do that. I, I want to keep it where it is. So if uh, if somebody does come and tag it or something, I can easily just paint it and, and paint the sides and be right back in. Uh, so we're going to see how, how this season goes, see how, how things turn out out there. Then then we'll decide what way we paint. I even thought about just doing it, uh, making it like a cow color, you know, black and white, like like the Holstein cows, Jersey Holstein cows or whatever. I thought about doing that and having a cow theme out there. Uh, so I got a couple of different ways to go and we'll, we'll actually see how, how, how it plays out. All right. Once again, I want to thank everybody for watching. Uh, tune in tomorrow between about 11 and 12. You'll see us live out at the shipping container. We're going to be going over uh, uh, everything you need to actually pass that shipping container. Looking at the build and everything, everything we have there, um, and like I say, this right here uh, is only made possible to apply. Uh, we had uh, we had so many guys here that uh, that run their appliance repair business, and from there they'll bring in family members and stuff here, and, and come and get stuff for family to uh, to build them out ice cream and stuff, uh, strictly because uh, appliance repair made it possible. Uh, so once again, I want to thank everybody for watching. And uh, I'll be back out tomorrow. Um, and thank you to West Peak. West Peak said, congratulations, man. You always drop again. Appreciate that. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'll be back, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.